this. Got a Demavend deck guide for you today. For the leader challenge, I chose to support the Northern Realms. God help me. But, this is probably the best I've been able to put together. I've won a few games with it, but it's just so hard in the meta at the moment. But, uh, with the deck, there's no thinning. So it's basically, you're just going to muddle again away your worst cards, hope for the best, and just hope things stick. Um, it's really matchup dependent. Um, with Demavend, it's it's all or nothing. You either smash them or you are smashed. But I'll run through what we got here. A lot of this stuff is obviously charge based, so Demavend can uh, get value. But we got Sosynthesis Blaze. To damage an enemy by one, five charges. Roche Merciless, which, if left unanswered, can uh, really be powerful. Sees some of them enemy units. Queen Adalia to put out one of your bronze engines with a shield, a little bit of protection. It's a pretty good card. Uh, Nanake for boosts. Priscilla's for charges. Faltus Pride is a really good end game piece if you can. Uh, keep it on the board and give it a lot of charges. It can wipe out the whole enemy board in uh, in the right matchup. Got Margarita for locks, and if you give it more charges, more locks. So it can come in handy. Botchling isn't charge based, but it's just a really good engine and demands an answer. And if unanswered, it uh, can help boost up your engines or or damage, or whatever. It's a good card. Merc de Brac for damaging by two, so charges on that are really valuable. Visigoda for boosts. Can get you a lot of value if left unanswered. Uh, Prince Stennis, which, yeah, is for a boost to help protect an engine plus potential lock. Uh, can come in handy, but at worst it's a four strength body, so it's not too bad. Now we're getting into our bronze engine, so we got two reinforced ballisters, two trebuchets, two Aratusa adepts for um, more charges, um, two Lyrian arbalists, um, two Sintran envoys, which with zeal are really good with formation. You play it on the melee to give two charges to an ally, C can really come in handy. Two Siege Supports, which are basically the same, but can um, only be used on machines, machine allies. And I've thrown in one Bomb Heaver here um, as a anti-artifact tech. So, just, uh, it's dependent on the matchup, but you're generally going to know if uh, they're going to be using artifacts. So, if not, you're just mulligan away. Anyway, let's play a couple of games, see how we do. <coughs> Let's glint it up. Just searching for a worthy rival here, guys. Let's see what we got. Amir. Okay. There's probably going to be a fair few locks, perhaps. I don't know, Amir. You don't see too much, or. Oh, you see a bit lately, but. Okay, there's unlikely to be artifacts. So I'll get rid of Bomb Heaver. I'll keep Pella. And I'll get rid of the seat. <coughs> We've got some good stuff here, we just gotta hope it sticks. Race me to the great sun! Okay, I think we'll open up with Lyrian Arbalist. If left unanswered, it can get you a bit of value over a round. 
I'll hold off on giving it a charge, because if it's removed, it's just worse. Okay, it's locked. Uh, oh? I think I'll put down the Aratusa Adept. And... We'll give charges to the Arbalest. I believe it still accrues charges when locked. And then if you remove the lock, which we could do with... I think they all still are there. I could be wrong. That is what you but if I'm right... Could come away with a little snake attack. But look, let's uh, let's put down Botchling. It's a good engine. Okay, we're a fair few points behind, but still relatively early in the round. But. Uh, I'll play Nanaki here. And, uh, those, but you'll live. Bukefell 61 Russ, the tyrant, might be looking to get out of the round. But, uh, look, we'll s flip the botchling. And... I'll start giving, uh charges to Nanako. If I start giving it to the Arbalest, he's gonna either think I'm um, some sort of Dementoid or uh, know what I'm thinking of doing. So I think next round we'll play the Pella. See if my theory comes to fruition. Reamed is going to be very powerful for him if he's got the Appella. See if our Arbalest has been accruing those charges. Long, dark night. Three. Has it? Have I given it more than that? Uh, three's not too bad, I suppose. Not enough to take out one of the slave infantries, but we'll take out the brigade. And we'll boost up. Look at that crap. Get out of here. Boost up the Arbalest. Boost up the Adept. And we're still in it, folks. This Vreemd will be good. But we still got some good stuff here. Reamed and Roach. So we are a bit behind. Can we take it in two cards? I think we probably could. Play the Merc de Brack. Put some charges on him. Play an Arbalus charge. And the Merc de Brac will be boosted by the Lubberkin. Up to five. Alright, good, good, good. So I think we'll play the Stennis here. Shame to get rid of it because it's a very good card, Majesty. but. The rest of our hand is also quite good. And this will definitely take it for us. Okay. Very, very good. So we take the round. So, we'll take a dry pass, because a long round is probably better for us. 
get rid of Siege Support and Arbalist. Take that dry pass. If not by strength, then by stealth. Okay, that's alright. better stuff in there, I think. So, get rid of the trebuchet and the other trebuchet. Okay. Blaze is good. Just gotta hope some of our stuff can stick. And, yeah, I don't know what Amir is gonna, his ability is gonna be used on, but let's open with an Arbalist. Okay, that's a pretty good Swears on his behalf, and that Swears could uh, could be replayed to take my Adept if I was to play that. So. Scary. I think I'll go with Blaze here. Not golf flopping. It's just so much removal out there. We'll go and go ahead and play the the baluster. <laughs> All right, let's try and put Roach down. That's what matters. can ping it with that, replay his squares, or that. <sighs> Play the envoy on the back row. See, I just can't play... Yes. So much better. Yes. Look, at this point I might as well... Uh, I'll, I'll play the Adept. As you wish, Lord. We all have secrets of one kind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, well, at least the leader's been used now. Yes. So... Let's put down Faultist. It's our only hope, really. No doubt it will be taken care of. We're only a cruisy 40 points behind. I strive above all to be just. Okay, that's a weak Peter. So, let's put down the Visegoda. Another battle, another entry in the Chronicles. I'll do as you ask this time. 
Still not going to be enough for us, I'm pretty sure, guys, but... What do you want? Let's see what we can do here. So, we got that at a nine. So, let's start with the tens. See how we do. Boom, boom, boom. So we are going to get a lot of points from this, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Nah, look. Wow. Wow. That was good. Very surprised. Okay, that was a huge comeback. Alright. Let's jump into another one, see how we do. Three reward points, very nice. <coughs> Let's quent it up. I mean, uh, not saving grace with this is they don't tend to have a lot of removal. So, what do we want to do? It's a pretty good hand. Um, it's a pretty, pretty good hand. Uh, I'll get rid of Centurion Envoy. They're unlikely to have artifacts, right? Get rid of Bomb Eva. Okay, Fate wanted us to have a Centurion Envoy. Okay, who am I to argue? Okay, let's open with Queen Adalia. There are things in the universe of which even the sages have not dreamt. Trebuchet. Unfortunate, nothing we can do about that. But let's open with an arbalist. I'm a <laughs> what you got, Camille? Double O S Cami Loose. Not God Flatter. Okay, it's a big commitment. It's okay. Let's go ahead with botchling here. Probably die to a parasite. Definitely want to win this round because we're doomed if we're bled. See, we'd like um, a long round three, whereas Woodland would like a short one. So, let's put down our other trebuchet here. Want to be able to start giving some stuff some charges. Launchling. And do I want to boost the trap here? Um, no, I won't. Good Lubberkin. Okay, that's okay. I'm even tempted to play the Vice of Gota here.
No, look, I'll play the arrow two as an adept. As you wish, my lady. Give that a charge. Give that a charge. Aha! And this way we can take out these guys, which is a Thrive unit, and boost it up with Thrive. Very good. Pretty comfortably ahead. Knackers. Norkamas. Welcome, man. I have to check the chat on my uh, phone, but uh, thanks for watching. Welcome aboard, buddy. Uh, sorry if I mispronounce your name, man. Um, what are we doing? Uh, it's a pretty low commitment play, so I'm, g I'm just going to put down my envoy here on the ranged. Leave it at that. Okay, okay, okay. That's alright, we can take out L Neckers. And then we can Yeah, we'll do that. Give it another charge. And we can hit that back row. Look at that thing of beauty. Uh, where are we? Shit, I still gotta play a card. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Shit, man. I'll go with Roach Merciless. Mary, that's what matters. It's probably a mistake. But the rest of our hand is also pretty damn good. Uh, no, I'm actually going to call it a night after this game, mate. Because um, it's about 11pm where I am. Uh, but I did release a ga uh, video today with my Jan uh, Yan Calvit list. Uh, did pretty well. So, give that a watch. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, do I want to keep going here? I do. I have to win this round. So, we'll put down the synthesis. Okay, he's still pretty close, and our Visegoda is not going to get much value, but our Merc de Brac is useless if I play it last, so put that down. Um, I'll give a charge to the Treb, that's going to get 3 value more than anything else. steal something here. Yeah, let's go ahead and steal that Ekamara. Very good. Let's hit the back row. And take out the Drowner. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Pretty comfortably ahead. I dare say we'll get the pass out of him now. There's the pass. Ah. 
Howdy, Morphea123. Welcome aboard. Um, yeah, let me know how you enjoy uh, the Calvit list, man. Uh, did pretty well for me. Alright, what am I doing here? Get rid of Pella. Uh, siege support. Come on, man. I need my good stuff. Take the dry pass. Yeah, Nilfgaard. I quite like Nilfgaard, but... I agree with this, the common sentiment that it's not really... doesn't have... I don't know if identity's the word, but... When you think of... When you think of Northern Realms, you think engines. When you think of monsters, you think... Tall units or swarm. Um, what else could I want out of here? Still some pretty good stuff. Uh, I'll get rid of... Um, Siege Support and Bomb Hitler. Not great. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough here to keep buff guys, but we shall try. I think I'll open up with um, Ballister. And then I think we'll put down our Vice Agoda, try and get maximum value out of that. down the treb. I don't want to put the Vice Goda down until it has something to boost. Okay, we can boost that up. Critical thinking. The sign of a healthy mind. Uh what's worth more here? Give it to Vice Agoda, just so I can boost up the tread. Gee, we're pretty far behind and our hand isn't terrific. Okay, let my Vice Agoda live. Um, let's put down the baluster here. Just boost it up. So next I'll play the Adepts. Okay, that's a pretty low card, but we're so far behind and he's still got his leader. But we'll play it out. See how we do. Lady Margarita told us of this. Uh, so... Give it to Ballister. Ah! Take out this Thrive. So slow, man. Cool. Save the other one. Now and we'll boost up the adept. No, I ah uh, no, yep, run out of time. We'll get there. Very far behind, guys. Let's play it out. Play the envoy on the back for that juicy, juicy extra point. Uh, 
And we might as well use one of them now. Get out of here. Time I taught you some respect. All right. So that's a 20 point loss guys, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'm going to call it a night, but uh, like and subscribe for more. Thanks guys, have a good night.